singles player um, by all means um, but Wells always throws me in with doubles <laughs> so I play a lot of doubles too. I am at work in the admissions office on campus. I'm student employed. What do you do for admissions? I answer phone calls, check email, uh, send out mail, um, pretty much like greet students when they come in, send them on their tours. Uh, I'm also in choir at St. Scholastica and sometimes I get asked to sing at hockey games. Uh, I am one of the captains on the tennis team. We start technically in January, but we have a fall season which runs like September to October. I think it will be an interesting year. We have a young team. We don't have any seniors, so that'll have an impact on everything. And I don't know, I think it'll be fun. We have a fun team, so I'm not worried that we're going to be bored on the road or anything. <laughs> I'm going over Do you guys normally cupcakes. eat cupcakes at practice? Uh, yeah. AC over here brings us something delectable every practice. 
I'm Jill Kammerer, and thanks for watching this week's Saints Spotlight. Now here's Billy Fay with this week's sports. The rain didn't stop the tennis team as they moved inside last Friday to take on the UW Eau Claire Blue Golds. Both the men's and women's teams lost to Eau Claire 8-1 on Friday. A lot of milestones and records came for St. Scholastica on Saturday on the men's side. The 9-0 victory over North Central marked the 100th straight UMAC duels victory for the Saints. In the second duel of the day against Bethany Lutheran, Saints senior Jacob Engelstad earned his 106th career victory to break the program's record. Engelstad also earned his 50th career doubles win, which ties him for second in the program history. CSS defeated Bethany Lutheran 9 to nothing. The Saints also defeated Northwestern in a rescheduled match on Tuesday in Fridley. On the women's side on Saturday, Saints Scholastica also beat North Central and Bethany both by a score of 9 to nothing. On Tuesday in the rescheduled match against Northwestern, the Saints won 6 to 3 to hand the Eagles their first conference loss of the season. Moving on to Saints baseball, the Saints hosted Martin Luther on Saturday in a triple header due to the rain on Friday. CSS took care of business regardless of the schedule change, winning game one 13 to nothing, game two 9 to two, and game three 6 to nothing. The win in game one marked the 700th in program history for the baseball team, so yet another Saints Scholastica milestone. The baseball team traveled to Whitewater for a big regional test on the road against the UW Whitewater Warhawks on Tuesday. In Game 1, a game-winning RBI single by Tom Jabarian lifted the Saints in the 10th inning as they won that game 5-4, but the Saints fell in Game 2 4-2. Still a good split for Saints Scholastica coming down the stretch of the season. Rain altered softball schedule last weekend as well as they were forced to host Martin Luther on Saturday rather than Friday. The Saints defeated Martin Luther on Saturday winning 5-2. The second game was not played. Then they proceeded to sweep Bethany later in the day winning game 1 8-0 in 5 innings and taking game 2 3-2. CSS defeated Northland 11-3 on Sunday in Game 1, and Game 2 was suspended due to rain with the Saints up 5-3 and will be finished at a later date. CSS also won a border battle on Thursday, defeating UW-Superior 14-7. Men's track and field earned 6th place out of 13 teams at the Falcon Invitational last weekend, and the women took 4th out of 15 teams. CSS also participated in the Twin Ports Open in Duluth on Tuesday. And the Surge also sends out congratulations to Monica and Nina Wydocker as they brought home the bronze medal from the World Championships hockey competition on the Swiss national team. So a lot of pride at St. Scholastica here this week. And those are your sports headlines. For more in-depth information, head to CSSSaints.com. But for now, back to you, Mark and Johanna.